I just can't believe what I've read today. Um, My Hero Academia 282. The man cuts his leg off. Isaiah sends it, right? He cuts his leg off and like his eyes are still open. Do you know how crazy that is? Like, okay, so this is what's happened, right? The man cuts his leg off and it's just like, oh yeah, you know, just judging the situation and seeing that kind of stuff, like as you do. Um, and as he does it, normally your reaction would obviously be screaming, pain, all of that, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that he didn't feel pain and that, whatever. But yeah, like you scream, your face, like you would react instinctively. But he, the guy was just like this. Like he was in so much pain that you see this eye like barely come down. And the other eye is just like strained, which is still up. Obviously because at all costs, right? Like at all costs, he has to continue keeping his eyes open. But not only that, he has to stay within Shigaraki's Yes, his gaze has to be within Shigaraki's movements. Yeah, um, which is crazy. We know that it didn't work out fully because I don't know it's either during that when he amputated his leg that it kind of deactivated it a bit. Um, because his eyes technically did close for like a little bit, but like he was still in, he was still like trying to keep his eyes open. Um, yeah. See, okay. So this is what it says. This is what Shigaraki says. Like, you really are a pretty cool eraser. But even you are bound to flinch. So he did flinch. Like his eyes wasn't fully closed. But in that moment, I'm guessing in the flinch that Shigaraki's quirk managed to come back. Because we see sticker Shigaraki's quirk coming back. But you know, we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, so yeah, Shigaraki's obviously quirk comes back. And with this chapter, it's just insane. Because you know what it is? I think a lot of us was thinking, what's going on? Like, not just in this chapter, but just genuinely within this arc. A lot of us thinking, okay, cool, is this like the final battle? Is this a, are we getting like a tease of the final battle? So like, we're going to see Endeavor and Shigaraki fight for a couple of chapters, but then Shigaraki retreats or something. But I generally don't know what's going on. Like, freaking Jack Hanson Matcha turns up at the end of the chapter, right? Uh, I thought he was drugged, like, it's not managed to kick in, or this guy is such a beast. That he's kicked in, but like it's just not affecting him. Uh, I feel like he's gonna attack some of the villains and then he's just gonna get like knocked out, like he just falls and like he's asleep, right? Uh, but so what we see at this chapter is something that we just did not see coming. This is what we saw coming. We thought as I was gonna get hit, which he did, and we assumed his quirk was gonna get taken. We thought we were gonna see Muriel part two, which would have obviously broken our hearts. But no, what Isaiah did in that situation, because he knew that his quirk would have been taken, and if his quirk would have been taken, then he wouldn't have been able to help Eri, right? Because obviously, you know, Eri, her quirk's out of control sometimes, so Isaiah can deactivate it at a moment's notice. Um, that's why Isaiah is so integral to Eri's development. And obviously, Isaiah is Eri's guardian too. So um, when he got hit, as I was probably thinking, okay, snap, like, this is what I gotta do. And what was pretty cool to see is, I feel like Shigaraki threw out two, but the first one got hit by, like, the first one got disintegrated by Bakugo. And then obviously the second one manages to reach uh, Isaiah Sensei. But guys, now we need to talk about this chapter. I wanna talk about Deku, right? Deku comes in 100% Wyoming. I've missed 100% Deku. It's been a while since he's been reckless and that. And you know what's so crazy? He just like, I don't know if it's like an elbow or whatever. Either way, he just comes in and just like smashes Shigaraki. These guys, I'd say that 100%. You know what? Part of me wanted to say, right, that 100% Deku is equal to Shigaraki's strength. But 100% Deku has to be stronger than Shigaraki. Because Shigaraki's at 74, 75%, right? And even so... The doctor even said, um, Marita Shiga said that, I'm calling him Dr. Eggman again. Dr. Eggman basically said that Shigaraki is near plus all might. Like he couldn't get that plus all might strength. And obviously Deku, Deku's 100% is going, is stronger than all might. Like that's how it is. It accumulates. Even though it doesn't look like it is, mathematic, mathematically speaking, well not even mathematically speaking, just the logic of the quirk, right? And how it stockpiles power. Each generation you're stronger. So yeah. We know that Deku's 100% is stronger than All Might's 100% in theory. Um, so yeah, that hit to Shigaraki must have been crazy. But anyway, let me not digress. So obviously, Shigaraki just like bites on Deku's uh, forearm. And Deku's like, I feel invincible right now. And you just see the whole bottom half of Shigaraki's mouth. Like the whole jaw, everything. The teeth just are broken. Yeah. 
seems like the jaw, bottom jaw just gets dislocated. Because you see Shigaraki jump and like do this to Isaiah's face, which is crazy. Because at first I thought, okay, cool, maybe Isaiah's face, like we're going to see some decaying moment. But no, Isaiah was technically looking at Shigaraki in this moment. So this is just pure strength in his hand. But what looks scary, right, is like it's digging into his face, which that freaked me out a bit. Where I was just like, damn. Shigaraki really was Aizawa dead. Um, you can definitely see that. But I have to give props to Deku, right? Deku's really um, utilising Black Whip in an intelligible way. Obviously, he's using it to restrain. But I think there's a point because he uses his arm. And obviously, that arm's been injured from 100%, I believe. Um, so he's like wrapping. Not like a cast, but basically similar. Or like a sling, right? So... He's using his black whip to stabilize his arm and like still punching Shigaraki with it. I'm just like, this guy's insane. And yes, finally, finally, uh, we see um, Todoroki coming in. Shoto Todoroki comes in with that ice. This guy's ice is his favorite, you know. I thought we were going to see some fire, but no, we've seen fire a lot with Endeavor. So obviously, I, um, Todoroki comes in with ice and it makes sense. So when Shigaraki was using the search quirk, um, there was three. And we we're thinking, who's the third one? Is it like, who is that? Gran Torino? Is it Todoroki? Is it Ida? Like, we don't really know who it was. And we find out that when um, Bakugo and Deku was chasing after to get Shigaraki, and uh, Todoroki was actually following them. And this kind of makes sense coming full circle. You know, they just came from an internship of, you know, the number one Endeavor. And it makes sense that Endeavor is fighting off against like the big bad villain now of this series, the new AFO. It makes sense for Todoroki to be there. Um, to not only help out, but yeah, because we're seeing Deku improve, we're seeing Deku at the forefront of this fight. I thought we'd see more Bakugo, but you know, we did see Bakugo do that killer, like, fireworks explosion, which was ridiculously powerful. Um, but no, this is, you know what, when, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so we see at the end of that, uh, if, if I, I'm sorry if I sound all over the place, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm so hyped from this chapter. Um, but yeah, we so with uh Aizawa getting hit by the bullet, his quirk is not gone, by the way. He had amputated it so before it could obviously make an effect. Um so it was Aizawa cutting off his leg, um, then Shigaraku trying to take out Aizawa, and then like Deku and Todoroki basically defending um them from Shigaraki. Uh Shigaraki basically his quirks come back, he has healed fully. Um which kind of seems like, wait, all of that was for nothing? It's like an Infinity War moment when, you know, Peter Quill just messes it up. Because of like, where's Gamora? Like, basically what happened, like, it's all for nothing now. Shigaraki's AO foe is reactivated within him. All his quirks come back, meaning his regeneration, his healing quirk is back and he's good to go. Now, I don't think this is going to mean like round two, I can do this all day. No, I, I, mean, I don't, I don't, I... <sighs> I don't really know. I feel like Shigaraki's going to retreat. I feel like it makes sense to, but at the same time, it makes sense for him to continue. I don't know. I mean, like, Shigaraki's done what's accomplished, right? He's made a scene in the sense that, you know, there's there's a new AFO in town. There's a, in town, there's a new big bad wolf in town, right? So the the pride and trust in heroes is, 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 is being taken a hit from this fight. Um, so... Shigaraki could basically leave it like right now, but we don't really know what's actually going to happen. So, fast forward to that, right? We go back to Uraraka and Ida. I would have loved to see Ida more at the forefront, to be honest, but is what it is. Um, even Uraraka as well. But we, we go back to these two, and they're overhearing a news broadcast, and it's Gigantic Match just still like running through the town. Um, he's gotten bigger as well. Uh, obviously, he has, he has a size augmenting quirk kind of thing too. Um, because don't don't forget, um, Gigantamachi has multiple quirks as well. He's like a Nomu to an extent. Like he has more than one quirk. Um, so yeah, that begs us. It begs the question. Okay, cool. What happened to the heroes on that side? Are they out for the count? Are some of them maybe dead? What's like midnight? Um, Mount Lady. Um, what happened there? And also, what happened to uh, Red Riot? Basic drugging, like Red Riot through the vial. The the bottle, the test tube into Gigantor Match's mouth, and what's it called? Uh, Momo said like he should be. Momo was just like, yeah, he'll be down soon, kind of thing. So I was just thinking, okay, cool, what's going on? Um, but yeah, guys, that's enough for me. 
Drop a like if you really like this video. That would be greatly appreciated. So what do you think is going to happen next week? Are we, we going to see a... Um, like Jack Anton Machia and Shigaraki first the heroes. I mean, the heroes are basically finished right now. Um, like they are all on their last legs, apart from maybe Todoroki, which is coming in fresh. Um, possibly maybe Bakugo as well, but everyone else, like freaking Gran Torino's got taken out, right? He's got a hole in her hand. Endeavor has is basically burning himself alive. Um so yeah, it's going to be really intriguing to see what's next. Or who knows, maybe a dev is going to be like, son, ice me up or something like that. I don't know what, what's going to happen. But yeah, guys, um, peace out and goodbye.